This tool will change the way you keep track of links to web pages. Let's discover Link Warden, a free open source collaborative bookmark manager. Its main feature is to help you collect and organize your links within searchable collections, subcollections, and tags. Instead of just saving the link to the website that could be down or changed, it automatically generates a screenshot and PDF version. Answering you the value you found in this link is always available. On top of that, it's been built for collaboration, allowing you to share access to collections with your team members with different roles and permissions. Before diving into the platform overview, let's see the different options available for us to use it. You can use the LinkWarden Cloud version, starting at $3 per month per user. They have a 14 days free trial, ideal to check if it suits you. You can also use the self-hosted version and free by following their installation guide on their GitHub repository. Or you can use a platform like ours, LSO, to take care of the installation, backup, updates, and maintenance for you on the cloud provider of your choice. To install LinkWarden on our platform, go to ls.io and click on Login. Then deploy my first service, search for Link, and find it Select. Choose between the different cloud provider, region and service plan based on your need, then next. Adjust your level of support, I will keep the free included one, then create service. When your instance is ready, you receive an email, follow this link. It automatically creates for you an account on LinkWarden, so your username will be admin and the password you can copy it to your clipboard and access your instance. Let's enter our username, admin and paste the password, then login. You can also create an account with sign up. We arrive on the dashboard, we have an overview of everything on our instance, but so far we have made nothing, so it's empty. Let's start by creating our collections. So we can go on the top right here create new and we start by creating different collections. Let's say I'm LSTO and I want to create link for the different team members. So our first collection will be open source software, OSS. I set the description. You can adjust the color. I would choose the orange of LSTO and create collection. We can see we now have one collection. We can go into all collection and let's create the other ones. Let's say we want a direct access to our different socials. So let's name it socials. Adding a description is not mandatory. So we'll just choose a color and create collection. Let's add the last one. I'm not sure we'll use it, but let's say we want learning resources that can be useful to any team members. You choose another color. So it's visually more easy to find it and create collection. Fine, now we have our three collections here. We need to add links within it. So let's start with OSS. You can click either on the top right here, new link. And because we are in OSS, automatically it selected the OSS collection. Or we can go below, create new link. I will fit this collection with the five software we used from our best tool for developers video. So the first one is log2. I can go and extend more option. The name is log2. The tags by default we don't have any yet. So let's say it's developer tools and I can create this tag. You can add multiple one if needed. And then a description. But if you don't add one, it will automatically take the one from the website. Let's create our first link. Let's repeat the process here. New link for direct us. Let's name it direct us and we also add the developer tools tag create link let's do it again new link flagsmith but this time i won't add the name and i will see if it automatically generated developer tools and you can see it automatically used the title from the website so let's finish adding the two last one without doing it so new link just add the tag developer tools and perfect, we have the title, the last one, paste Gothenburg. Oh, I forgot to add the tag, but it's not a big deal. Perfect. So you can see on the left, we have five open source software and only four of them have the tag developer tools. You can see here it's fetching some data to generate the image here. You can choose to display them as a list or this card view. You can also choose to sort them 
by date or name or description. Okay, so while the content is fetching, let's go to socials and add our different socials. But instead of adding them manually from here, we can use the Chrome extension from LinkWarden. So let's add it to Chrome, add extension, and let's open our YouTube channel. So we want to add this to our social collection. So go to the extensions, open link warden and because it's the first time we need to configure it first they need our address to link warden instance so go to our tab copy the link and paste it here then username we know it's admin and for the password go back to dash.ls.io open our project display admin ui copy the password and paste it here then save now we have done the configuration, we should be able to do it. Let's try again. We can see the different collection. So this one is socials. We have also the more options. We won't do it. It automatically prefilled the name and description. Let's save it and let's reload the socials. And now we see we have our YouTube channel. Perfect. Let's add the other one by hand. Let's start by Twitter, then TikTok. Instagram, and finally, LinkedIn. By the way, is it the right time to tell you to follow us on all those social media? You can find all the links in the description. Now that we have all our links, we can go back to the dashboard. And here we have a clear overview of what is containing our link warden instance. We have a total of 10 links, three collection and one tag. You have a list of the recent one, you can choose also here to put it in the list view. If there is one link you really want to highlight, you can click on the three dots and pin to dashboard. Then if you go below, you will see it in the pin section and also from this dedicated page here. We also have the all links and within it or anywhere you can search for links. So let's type feature flag, enter, and you can see we have Flagsmith open source feature flag and remote config service. If I click on it currently, what it does is it's opening the link directly, automatically. But Link Warden is doing more to our URL instead of just saving it into different collections. Automatically, it's preserving the link. So you can open preserved format and it generated for us three different versions, a screenshot of the page. So let's open it. We can also download it. And we have this huge image representing the entire website. Instead of an image for better quality and to be able to copy paste, you have the PDF version. And again, you have access to it, but you can copy paste content easily. The fact that they are doing it for every link that you submit, it prevents them to be modified or removed and you have access to them anytime anywhere and finally they are doing a text version the readable one what it is is an extract of the html page including the text image and i think videos but maybe they are not in this page it's not perfect for this website even if it works quite well it could be better but it could also be worse on other websites you can also view the latest snapshot on archive.org and trigger it or also refresh the preserved format. So if you see there is an update on a website and you want to have that update, you can click here and it will refetch those information. Let's open again our instance using the incognito tab and this time we will create a new account. So we are new, we will sign up, our name we will say Wawa, Wawa and enter a password. Then I will sign up. Let's sign up. Now we need to log in. So let's type it again and log in. And we arrive here and it is empty, but we are on the same instance. The thing is, we don't have any collection shared. So you can use it privately and then share the different collection you want to collaborate on. Let's go back to our main account. Let's go to OSS here and share and collaborate. So we can make it public, but we don't want it to be public. Or we can add other members. So it's at Wawa. I click here on the add. Oh, they say me it doesn't exist. Oh, they said without the at. So just type Wawa, add the other user. And you can see there is me as the owner. I'm the admin. And when I share, by default, it will share as a viewer, but I can make it a contributor, can view and create links, or admin, full access to all links. So let's say a contributor, save changes, 
and back into the other account, we have one collection with five links and we have access to it perfectly. And we can see that the image here have been fetched too. Finally, in the settings, you can personalize your account, adding a profile picture when you share it. You can also make your profile private so no one is able to share with you collections. You can also import and export the data. So if you are using the cloud version and want to use the self-hosted or the other way, then in preference, you are able to switch between dark and light mode and choose which format are automatically generated. So we had screenshot PDF, but you can also have a new snapshot every time you put a link on archive.org. You can also add some filtering to prevent a link duplication and define when you click on the link what is happening. We saw that it was opening the original content, so it opened the link, but you can choose to automatically open the PDF, the readable or the screenshot version. To view other features and upcoming features, you can see on top of the dashboard, you have see what's new in LinkWarden. It's a link to their changelog. As it's a fast growing open source software, it's good to see what they are adding over time to see it's lively and it's going in the right direction. It includes different features that we didn't cover in this video and that you might be happy to discover. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering LinkWarden with us. If you find our content useful, please hit the like button to make it more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. In the meantime, you can continue your open source journey by watching this video, available here.